You are chairman of the RV Board of Directors, and I got your spot for the next meeting. When I said chairman of the board, this is what I meant. The brand spanking new Forest River Wildwood FSX 163 RDSK. Finally, a couple's travel trailer that can sleep more than two that is also a mobile workstation. Right here along the rear wall, you have your rear desk set up, which could also be a kid's dining station if you needed it to be. You got solid wood cabinetry, European style with the European brush nickel pulls, full extension drawer guides. I love this. You even get the chair. You got the oversized window, which opens, by the way, um, allowing you to not only when you pull up to the beach, you pull up to the mountains, or you're taking those calls and as you're on those team calls or you're working, you're looking at the RV park or you're looking at the beach. You're looking at grandma's house. You're not in your office. You're in your vacationing office. Tell me that would make work so much better. High output AC with the quick cool dumps. That is the Coleman Mach Whisper Quiet. I love how I got the European styling all the way around, even with my brush and nickel pulls right here. And it's it's a it's a FSX. It's a platinum FSX. So you're gonna get things like the underbelly with the accessibility panels. You're gonna be pre-wired for the King Wi-Fi 4G and LTE signal boosting. And when you want to watch some entertainment, how about you got the palm mount right here? So you can move the TV around and not have to buy multiple TVs. Right there's my boosting. Got my boosted signal, which is a great service to get for your cable and your satellite. Entry point right here. You got the Everchill fridge freezer combo that's 12 volt, 10.7 cubic foot. And if you're outside, you need to get yourself a cold one. It opens on both sides. Come on, gravy. Where's the biscuits? You can make them if you do stovetop biscuits, which by the way, cast iron skillet biscuits are amazing. You got a two burner graystone cooktop with the recessed glass cover. Just gives you a little bit more prep space. You also have all the drawers you could need for a coach that's 23 foot long, 4,100 pounds, press surface countertop, stainless steel bowl sink that's round. I like that with a high rise faucet. Oversized window here, which also opens, giving you great cross breeze. And when you're ready to go hiking, biking, whatever you want to do, you got the mobile Bluetooth speaker system in here that also doubles as your entertainment center and it charges on that station right there. And when you're ready to colland your greens, you can right here. This was the only thing I wasn't crazy about. I mean, I know we had to get cabinet space and I know it's, it was the only way we could put it in. I'm just not a fan of the right there. So you just gotta close them one at a time. Don't get crazy and try to get the bowl of popcorn and the Captain Crunch all at the same time. Come over here to your recliner and you'll notice this is a swivel table. So you want to push it out. You want to push it in. You absolutely can. You got space right here with incliners that pop up. So you can kick back, relax if you want to. And in your storage compartment, we just don't have them out now. Uh, there's these little push button holes. That's for little mini tables. So if you don't want to use the big table, maybe you just want like a little one to put your laptop on and do some work. You got it. Large panoramic window. It opens, you got the side windows as well. They also open, giving you some great cross breeze and a decorative slide to go along with our upgraded flooring that leads us right into our pass-through bathroom. Yes, this coach has a pass-through bathroom allowing you to get true separation of space. And just take a look at this door. Look at this. That's actually decorative and a lot nicer than I thought it was going to be. Now, sure, that kind of slate gray that's on the outside is still nice, but this is kind of that, I call it the burlapy feel, almost like uh, what you'd get if you were at a high-end safari resort. That's that kind of thing. So you want some privacy while doing your thing, but somebody still needs to shower. You can close this off. You got privacy over here in the bathroom, high-rise bowl with the foot flush. Got the oversized countertop here angled brush nickel faucet for your undermounted sink, mirrored medicine cabinet, another window that also opens to give you more breeze 
and you have the subway tile theme in your 30 by 40 shower surround right here with the shower curtain that's on the suspension roller. Shower nozzle, skylight up above. Um, I just like how they separated the space and gave you a privacy curtain all at the same time. But a pass-through bathroom and a coach that's only 23 feet long, very nice. Queen size bed nestled in the front over here with cubby storage for my ward space underneath. You got storage that is accessible from the pass-through as well as the cubby boxes. I like that space. Also like how if I need to get something and if it's raining outside, it just happens to be in a pass-through storage, I don't have to go outside to get it. Palm mount over here, once again, for my TV with my backer. I love that. I can only have one TV and move it around. If I want to, you can have multiple cable and GFCI outlet. A couple's mobile work station. You truly are chairman of the RV board on this one. All right, let's go outside. Come on. I'm dancing because I finally got a coach that's under 24 feet. This one's only 23 feet long, under 4,200 pounds. It's like 4,159. And it is a rear desk. Boom, and it's Forest River Wildwood. So it's going to be good. You're going to have an enclosed underbelly with those accessibility panels up front. You got your hand crank, you got your 20 pound LP tank and battery rails, as well as your battery disconnect. I would ask that you go ahead and get, uh, talk to your specialist at Camping World about getting a second propane tank added. It can only help. Now you come around to the campsite. What I like about this is if you want to get those solar panels to help trickle charge that battery, you got the quick connect right here and you have something special about your pass through storage. Let me just show you. You actually got a griddle in here, so it's not technically pass-through storage, but you could, if you wanted to, remove this because you can still access it from the queen-size bed on the interior. So if you need to lift up and go ahead and fry some bacon with this thing closed, I wouldn't recommend it, but holy crap, that gives me a great idea. Um, who's got the keys to this thing? I want to try something out, but no. It, if you want to have that removed, you absolutely can. But for me, having the griddle uh, just really opens up the opportunity to do breakfast because you can do bacon, stuff like that. Also, griddle burgers, smash burgers on a griddle are fantastic. That slides in. You got the magnetic clasp for your anti-slam luggage doors. The accessibility, like I mentioned, is a paneled system. It's a rigid system that allows you to access specific parts of the undercarriage without really having to take one whole piece off. You can take it out, you know, sample by sample. You need because on your fresh tanks. Uh, you got a 39 gallon fresh and then dual 30s on your gray and your black. So if you need to get to one or the other, you don't have to take off the whole thing. Got your stabilizer jacks in the front, stabilizer jacks in the rear. Power outlet here, GFCI'd, plus you got that sealed safety window with 80% tent. Extra large awning with the LED light strip. I like the coverage on this because they didn't skimp and give us an eight footer. They actually gave us a bigger one. Fresh water fill, got the steel rim on that one with the Dexter Easy Lube axle, but it's still a radial tire, still fold up steps and the tempered glass door. I'm a fan of this because it, it looks cool, but it's tempered glass. So it's going to help keep with that tent. It's going to help keep the coach a little bit cooler as well. Come around to the back. You've got the four by four sewer hose storage, the back of your tankless water heater, your spare tire mounted on the back. Plus you are set up for backup camera prep and the arch ceilings and the rain nozzles help just keep the elements off the top of this coach, off the slide and off of you. Then over here on the off camp side is gonna be your city water fill as well as your 30 amp plug. So for a coach that's 23 foot long and 4,100 pounds, that's a rear desk. You are chairman of your vacations with the Forest River Wildwood 163 RDSK. Leave me some comments down below and let me know, what did you like? Where would you take it? Do you need a rear desk? Are you so mobile that you're now thinking to yourself, you know what, Chris, that's not a bad idea. I, I would like to try working from the road. What's, what's tying me down? Why can't you just get up and take a week and go work from the beach and then come back and then go work in the mountains for a week? I don't see any issues with that whatsoever. If you can do it, absolutely do it. More importantly, you can do it however you want to do it in a coach that you don't have to upgrade your tow vehicle to tow because it's only 4,100 pounds dry. 
You can pick it up today at your local Camping World. Please click like, subscribe, and notify, and leave me a comment because we may not know each other yet. We're just friends that haven't met because you haven't said hi. I'm Chris Young. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.